Today we are going to explore the solo division in the chancel organ of the First Presbyterian Church of Glens Falls, New York. This division is located in the front right of the chancel, way up high. Notice that the swell shutters open and close because this division, like the swell in the choir, is enclosed, allowing dynamics by the organist. This division has eight ranks of pipes and it is the smallest division in the organ, but it is one of the most important. I refer to it as the diva division because it is made up of both softs and loud soloists. However, in this case, they all get along and blend well together for various uses. We will start our tour with the major flute and I'll add the tremolo for a little extra effect. We can also use this to solo a melody out on a nice hymn. And go up the octave, making it a little brighter, like an orchestral flute. Or play it at two different octaves at once. The next stop we have here is one of what we call the color reeds. It is an English horn, which is very pretty. can be used for a nice hymn, soloing out again like this, and I'll add the tremolo. The next color reed is called the French horn, and it has a darker quality to it and it is good for certain um, soloing out opportunities in the tenor range. something like this from a famous orchestral accompaniment. We can also use it for something fun like this. 
So now we move on to a beautiful set of strings called the viol d'orchestre or orchestral violin. These are very narrow, keen sounding strings of small scale, but very pointed type sound. They're actually the loudest strings in the organ of the five sets that we have. If we add the celeste, which is a set of pipes tuned slightly sharp, we get a nice warm orchestral undulating sound. shimmer. Those strings are reminiscent of the sound of the beautiful ones made by E.M. Skinner nearly a hundred years ago. So now we can move on to the two percussion stops we have. These are digital stops. One is a harp. And a set of chimes. So now we can move on to the louder stops of the solo division. There are three. The first is the bombard, which is a French bright trumpet, good for fanfares. Or for a melody on a hymn like this. something for a wedding processional. This stop also plays an octave lower and an octave higher for something grand and glorious like this. So that is our softer of the three loud stops. The next one is the tuba, which in the bass sounds more like a tuba. But as it gets higher, it sounds more rich and is used as a solo stop to solo out melodies in hymns or for music of a more heroic character. So listen to uh, this excerpt from a hymn. That's how we can use it in a church service there. Now, if we put the tuba and the bombard together, we can get something that sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 
So the tuba is on higher wind pressure. It is on about 15 inches or twice the normal pressure of the solo division to enable it to have that carrying power throughout the building. Now our third stop is the trompette en chamade. I call this the Heldon tenor of the organ because it is used on rare occasions and when it comes on, you'll know. It's very loud and full, and it is actually mounted in the rear of the church on top of the gallery organ up high. So let's look and see. I'll zoom in, and maybe you can see the flamed copper pipes sticking out on the top of the organ case. Now let's listen to this stop as we hear what it sounds like. So this is a Christmas and Easter stop, as we say. It's used very rarely, and you can use it for the melody of playing a hymn along with some of the stops up front. So it is a very grand and heroic character and is kind of the final cap to the full organ ensemble. So that concludes our tour of the solo division and I hope you have enjoyed this. And next will be the pedal division which is played down below. So stay tuned. <laughs>